when I did those two summers of work on Cape Cod, 1966 and 67, uh, there was a guy from the Boston Museum of Fine Arts who would come down to the Cape occasionally. He was the curator of photography and prints. Yeah, you know, I mean, like his specialty was Rembrandt's prints. And this guy saw some of my photographs and he said, I want to show these at the uh, Boston Museum of Fine Arts. So, you know, we, we started to assemble a show and it was his idea to make a book. And the book only had 40 prints in it. But Little Brown and the New York Graphic Society, which had an office in Boston, was the publisher. So it, because a museum was putting on an exhibition, it wasn't difficult for them to print the book. And in fact, the book won the, the award for the best printed book of the year. Hmm. How about that? Worldwide in the book, pub, the book printing industry from a, a press just outside of Boston called the Acme Press. <laughs> Acme <laughs> is such, it's such a funny name. It's like a cartoon name. Anyway, that book went on to be a best-selling book for photographs. And it's, I think now this is maybe its 10th edition. It sold probably 200,000 copies. And it's just something that people keep on buying. And uh, I still, to this day, get people writing me incredible letters about what it means to them, how it, you know, I remember someone wrote and saying, you know, I was in a deep depression, I was, you know, suicidal, I was uh, institutionalized, and they had the copy of Cape Light there, and the book saved my life. I mean, stories like that, and that wasn't like the only time, but so many times people have written about what a meditative experience it was for them and how restorative it was. And I think, wow, if some photographs which you put out into the world can come into somebody's life as they're paging through a book and it goes into them in a way that uplifts them, then there's something going on there even bigger than I intended. But, you know, it's like unintended consequences, right? You put these things together and they have a kind of linked poetics in them that establish some kind of tone. And people page through the book and they feel this tone and it, it expands for them. And so I've been really fortunate that that book has had a long life. <laughs> 